What's worse, John Rick 3 or New Rambo? I'm pretty sure John Rick 3 is gonna be worse. J just judging by your commentary, it's like, it was bad. Oh, John Rick 3 is way worse than the New Rambo. <laughs> That's sad to say. <laughs> I just realized <laughs> what I just said. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice! Another one. Another. The new Rambo. There's not a lot structurally wrong with it. It's just really kind of lame. It's so paint by numbers. You watch it for the first ten minutes, and you can guess how this whole film's gonna go. <laughs> it's like um, Rambo is having a nice life where he's retired. He has a farm. Under which there is a series of tunnels for no reason. He's just got <laughs> tunnels. He was very like, bored. As, as he was going, th like walking through them, like mm, I got my tunnels. I was like, is this gonna be like a set piece to kill people in? Because like, why the hell do you have tunnels? And uh, tunnels. he has this like young adult girl he's looking after, and he's like, I love you, and she's like, I love you too, Dad. And, well, like he's not her dad, but he's uh, her carer of, in a way. And he's like, you know, you make life worth living. <laughs> She's like, hmm. And then they, they hang <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they like ride horses together. He's like, you know, when you go to university, I'm going to miss we, we, riding horses with you. She's like, yeah, I'm missing too. He's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got a height cannon. Ooh. And then she's like, one random day, like, I want to be my real dad. And he's like, what? <laughs> he's like, oh, why did my real dad leave me? And he's like, he's a piece of shit, terrible person, hates you. He, he, he at one point says, um, some men have black hearts. And, like, they repeat it randomly in the film, like, as a background <laughs> commentary. It's like, some men have black hearts. Mm. Um, and, so, then, and everybody goes like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> And so he's like, don't do it. And then she's like, okay, I won't. And then does it. And then... <laughs> She like she just pops over to Mexico. Like I, I guess they're in. I don't know how the border security works, but she just drives through it to Mexico, and he's just like, okay. And then she's like, "Hey, best friend who lives in Mexico, who's like this seemingly really untrustworthy person." Oh, convenient, by like, the way. <laughs> where's uh, Where's my dad? And she's like, "Oh, he's over here." And they just drive to this apartment <laughs> building. And she knocks on the door. And she's like, "Hey, dad." And he's like, "Hey." And hey. She's like, <laughs> Why, uh, why'd you leave us? And he's like, I hate you, and I don't like your mum either. And then when she died, and I had to look after you, I was like, fuck that, and I left. It's like really horrible dialogue, and she's like, <laughs> okay, and leaves. Okay! And I was like, uh, you know, this is the thing, you're like, what's gonna happen then? Like, I thought, because I was like, oh, the dad will be some evil person who'll put her into some kind of kidnapped situation. But no, the friend is like, look, you're sad, let's go to a bar and have some drinks. And she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then they do, and then she gets her drink spiked, and she's kidnapped, and Rambo's like, mm, No! This can't be! And he, like, drives to Mexico, and, um, finds this, like, this set of Mexicans who are all leading this big cartel thing, and he's, he's like, Give it back, she's mine! And he's, he's, like, surrounded by, like, 30 guys with guns, and I, I, I thought they were gonna be doing some kind of Taken thing where he was gonna do something that we don't see coming, like, he throws down something that you know, like, does a flashbang, and everyone's like, Whoa! or, or he, he had some kind of plan, but no, he just gets beaten the fuck up and <laughs> goes unconscious, and I was like, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and just before he, like, gets knocked out, the guy is like, you know, this girl, I didn't even care about it, but now that I know that you care about it, I'm gonna make her life horrible. He's like, <laughs> let her go! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> And I, so I was just sitting there like, okay, so he'll he'll recuperate and just revenge everybody. That's probably going to be the movie. But the only thing they did catch me off guard with is that he recuperates. He decides to assault this place. Do you know what weapon he decides to go with for that? A uh, bow and arrow and a machete? A hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? you need more than that, surely. <laughs> Emma. And he he just bursts into this like you know this, <laughs> this is, sex ring. This is double funny because the hammer has been like a a thing in this stream because of the swamp area with the hammer guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Emma like, time. like bursts into the room and fucks fucks people up with the hammer. It's actually like I enjoyed that bit. He just fucking slabs into their faces. Everything's just falling apart. Blood's everywhere. And um. 
he finally gets to his daughter and he because he just finds it but this is a few days after and she's just like all kinds of fucked up she's like bleeding she's got scars she's got loads of like uh injection you know like what do you call them like the scar the, the scars where they you can see like heroin whatever streak lines is it or something i can't remember what they call them i have no idea doesn't doesn't matter uh she's got loads of that and he like drags Ooh. her out, tries to drive her home and this was the part that i was like oh wow uh, she dies on the way back, and he can't save her. And I was like, oh shit, because you figure that they're going to do the typical hero thing where he's like, oh, she gets saved. Fine. Mm -hmm. um, then he's like, mm, I'm going to fucking kill all of them. <laughs> and so he like tricks out his house and his tunnels to have billions of Home Alone style traps <laughs> that they obviously do more damage than Home Alone traps. Um, and then he just, he just he like goes to Mexico. The way it works is there's two main bad guys in Mexico who are doing this sex trafficking, and then a whole bunch of cronies. He like just drives over there, finds out where one of the bad guys lives, goes into his house, just fucking kills all the people that were guarding it. And this this like weird moment where um he walks into the guy's bedroom and he sees that he's currently in the shower, and you can see this shot where you can see the bed, and then the the door to the bathroom is slightly open, the lights coming through, and you can hear the shower noise. Mm-hmm. And then it shows him, and he like makes like a sort of like, oh yeah, face. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> he did all the trap thingies, so. Well, I just, I, I was, I was, I was, because I guess he sees it as like, ah, I can get the job on it. But I just saw it as like, hmm. why are you excited that he's in the shower? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. um. So we we don't we don't see him kill one of the two bosses. It's off screen, and I don't know why. But um, <laughs> Rambo 2019, mm, out of ten. <laughs> And he, he, so he, yeah, he kills, he kills that guy by chopping like his head off, and but he doesn't go after the other guy. He goes straight home, and it's like, oh, okay. And then the other guy finds his brother. I think it's his brother. They're the two evil leaders, and he's like, oh my god, his head's chopped off. That's bad. I'm gonna go after the Rambo. Cause pretty sure he's the one who did it. I can't remember if he has a. Oh yeah, he he finds out because he leaves a photo of the girl behind. So he's like, oh, it must have been Rambo. So they all go to his house. There's like fucking like a hundred of them. And Rambo just blows them all up, burns them, shotguns their faces off. This is, it's actually probably the the part of the movie that most people would say is the reason they watched it. Yeah. Um, it's really gory. There's this one shot where a guy is just walking around in his tunnels, and something like he sets a trap off, and it just like slices. Let's say sixty percent of his skull is just chopped away, <laughs> and it just shows it. He's just like, <laughs> it's just like oof. That sounds you awesome. I actually want to see that. <laughs> he ain't saying mm, no more. <laughs> He's more like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah, it all ends with uh, this. It ends with a literal fatality. He he pins the final boss guy to a wall with four arrows, and then walks up <laughs> to him, stabs him in the chest, like breaks open his chest, and pulls his heart out and shows him to it. <laughs> oh, shows it to him. Great. And he's like, this is what it felt like for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, you got him. See, I want to see um, the, the last quarter of the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 fun enough, and and the hammer part. It's just the the storyline itself was so like, it's just taken. He's he's pissed because his stuff was taken. He just beat a bunch of people up. It's just taken the R rated. Yeah. But entertaining. Yeah. Are you sure you aren't just describing a fever dream? <laughs> more or <laughs> to dub over the whole movie now. <laughs> need me to break down more movies like this. Thanks, Mahal, and now I don't need to see the movie, lol. <laughs> Track marks, it is, apparently. No Oh, yeah, that's probably it. Can we fucking clip Mahal's whole recap? <laughs> 